Welcome back, guys. So in this video, we're going to be talking about inner class, or also many of you may know this as the nested class. So yeah, let's just get on this. Um, let me just close out all these things. Let's create a new package. And in here, let's just call it in our class. Okay, so in this inner class, let me just go ahead and create a let's just go ahead and create let's just call it main class, which is this. And I'm going to create another one. Outer yeah, not try to a outer class. Um, let me just refactor this thing really quick. Rename inner and these outer or inner outer class. Yeah, yeah, continue. Okay, cool. So in here, right, we have main class and we have this auto class. <clears throat> so normally what we would do, you know, just like uh, any class that we have, we can create, uh, we can create like a, like a string. We can create a string, right? String, let's say name equals John. Right, and we can we can also create a method. Let's say public void. Uh, my name. Right, and we can just print out. Let's say we do s out, and we just print out name. Okay, and obviously, if we if we want to call this thing, if we want to call this other method, if we want to print this thing out. Just go to the main method and we'll just create an object of this, right? I'll create an object of the outer class. Of the outer class. Outer class equals new. Outer class, right? And then outer class dot. And you know, we have this, we have this. We have this name, my name, right? Our class dot my name right there. Right? And if I was to print this thing out, it is printed out John, right? Which is fine. This is like a normal one that we're doing. This is perfectly okay. Now let's say we want to create an inner class within this outer class, right? So let's say I get out of this. In here, we just create another one. This says public class inner class, right? Um, Is this syntax error on token class char expected? Okay, uh, let's see. So let's say I have int num equals eight. Oh, I don't need this. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, my apologies. I 
I put this thing in there. That's why it was giving me issues. I you don't need that. Uh, you don't need the brackets. Uh, it's just like a habit. <laughs> uh, I thought I was creating a method, but anyways, so you just create a regular class, right? Public class, inner class, right? So this thing right here, this is uh, this is the this is the outer class you have, right? It ends over here. So everything, everything from here to here, everything belongs to this outer class. Within this outer class, I'm creating another class called the inner class. For this inner class, you know, again, I can have I can have everything that I did over here. I, everything that I did over here, I can also have the same thing over here, right? So let's say I create another one, string, um, string, let's say your name, right? Oops. Your name equal, equal, uh, Mary, <clears throat> right? Let's say I have that. I can also create methods in here as well. Let's say public, uh, void, public void, um, I'm just going to say your name, okay? And in here, let's say we just do S out, <clears throat> and then I'm just going to say your name, okay? So this first one is printing out this. The second one, it should print out Mary, right? <clears throat> now, normally, right? So if I was to just do this, yeah. So you can see this side by side. Let me just give it a little more space. So normally, right, what we did over here, if you wanted to access this auto class, what we did, we created this auto class object over here. Now we have this inner class that is within the auto class. So how does that work? So let's let's see if this works, right? Let's say we do inner class. Uh, I don't want to do that. <clears throat> let's say we have this inner class, right? Then let's say we have, it doesn't even give in the option. So let's say I have inner class, inner class equals new inner, inner class, right? It's not working, right? It is, it is not working. So over here, over here, I have this other class. So I created an object of this other class, so other class, let just let me just call this call this thing outer. Outer, right? And this inner class, like outer class, outer, new outer class, outer dot my name. And it, it gave me the result, right? So I created this outer, I created this outer class object calling it outer, and it is fine, but on the inner class, it is not doing that. So how do we overcome this? Right, there are so how do you overcome this thing is uh this way. So in here, what do we have to do? Because this inner class is within this outer class, what do we have to do? We have to say outer class dot inner class. Okay, outer class dot inner class, then inner, right? Then new inner class that would not work. So what do we have to do over here? We have to, this object that we created over here, we have to say outer dot new. Oops, hold on a sec. Let me just take this thing out completely. Yeah. So we have to say outer dot new. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, I apologize. Outer dot new, then inner class. Okay, sorry, it was just giving issues. Let me try to do this. Yeah, so let me write this thing again so you guys can understand this. It was giving issues before. Outer class dot inner class, then we can say inner equals <clears throat> outer. So this outer is the same name as we have over here. Outer dot 
then we have said the word new, space, and then inner class. Okay. And this is fine, right? And now we can just go back to using just like how uh here, let me just do inner. <clears throat> just like how we how we uh created objects over here and we go ahead and we use the methods and whatever else that we want. Same thing over here now. It's uh inner dot and your name, that's the method right here we put in, right? It just shows up. It just shows up. And if I was to run this thing now, see the first one is the John, which is from this outer method and our outer class. <clears throat> and then this Mary is from the new one, which is from the inner class, right? Again, this is one way of doing it. And this thing right now, uh, because this class we did not define as add static, because of that, we have to create an object of the outer class and do this thing. But many times we may not want to create an object of this outer class, right? So how do we do that? So let's go ahead and let's create uh let's go ahead and let's create uh let's create a, a new class. Okay. Um So let's do public, let's do public static class. Uh, in there. Static in our class, right? So yeah. This is just like a regular, regular uh inner class. This is not a static, this is a non-static, non-static inner class, right? And then this one is a static inner class, okay. In here, let's say we do public void, um, I don't know, let's say my home. Okay, that's out. I'm just gonna say this. This is from static inner class. I'm actually going to change uh I'm actually going to change This is for non static owner class. Okay, so this will just keep things simpler. So, again, you know, we have this non static and this is the static. So, what we did over here, this thing, this thing was the non non static. In our class, right now, let's go and create static in a class. So, in the static in a class, we don't have to create this object anymore. We can because we defined it as static, and as you know, it's static, it is uh, we, we can just access it because it is within the same package, we can just access it, right. So in this case, what we're going to be doing, we can we're going to be saying outer class dot uh, yeah there you go static inner class the show yeah and then I can say uh a static sure static inner class equals 
new outer class oops, dot static inner class. Okay, so what this thing did right now, I still have to say outer class because again, this inner class, this static class, it belongs to the auto class, right? So I still have to say auto class dot static inner class, but what I didn't have to do, I didn't have to create an object just like I had to do it over here. It says outer dot new. I had to do all those. I don't have to do all those. I can just say new and then I just define it just just I normally just how I would normally do this. So I can say static inner class dot and then uh my home. See, that's the that's the method that we had created over here, my home. So it's just my home, right? And if I was to print this thing out, run as Java application, see? First one is the John, which is from here. This one right here, Mary, this is from non-static inner class. And then this is the last one, which is this is from static inner class. Okay, hopefully this makes sense to you guys. I know this was a long lesson, uh, but hopefully I was able to explain uh, some of these things and it makes sense a little bit. Uh, if you guys do have any questions, please do comment. Uh, if this video was helpful, please do subscribe and like and share. Thank you so much, guys. Have a good one.